This is Gemara Mo'i Kalim Daf Chav Ches. All the learning should be an incredible schos shidduch for Shemurim Bashi. He's a gitta shendel. 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 Very good, very good. Now, after he see me, cluster. And after he see me, cluster. Amram and Yaakov, Sarah, Bas Kila, Shem Zechem, and Yehudis. For Avram and Rachel, Adai, Shem Shem, and Chana, Vegal, Peral, Bas Esther, Mil Yum Gavrela, Bas Bumi, Yisrael, Yitzchak, and Dina. Be'Soi Shar, Choyli Yisrael, holding the last line of Chavzayin Amid Bees as we close in on this incredible Mesechta Ma'ikayin. Just a quick dot that today we're going to be pulling up a little bit short, as you see on Daf Chav Ches. It's quite a lengthy Daf and Chav Tes. The last Daf, tomorrow's Daf, is a very very short Daf. So we'll put all up a little bit earlier today to balance today and tomorrow. Number two is a good, uh, a close chaver of the daf. Rav Ruvain has written an incredible compilation on the halachas of Hilchas Cholamayid. After we just finish learning all the halachas, if anyone would like, you can reach out and I'll send you his contact. He's happy to share with everyone. And finally, we many people did respond, but whoever else would like, we're, we're still working on a CM4. Seder Mayid, Amir Tashem, when we finish Chagiga in a little bit under a month. At the moment, it looks like it'll be in Brooklyn, New York. Please be in touch. So holding the last line of Chavzayin Mabiz, Loshal Nashim, La'ilam, and Ne'ak Kavayid, that we never put down. We're discussing that you take the Kever, you take, not the Kever, you take the Arayin with the mace inside, you put it on the street. Says the Gemara, you never do that for a woman. They are covered for the honor of the woman. Amin Arda. They explained in Arda, Loi Shanu, this dinner we just learned that you don't put the cover down was not said. Ella Chaya on the top of Chavchesam and Aleph only a woman who had given birth Rachman Litzlan she died in childbirth the top Rashi says and the reason is she's Shefas because what's going on right now is that she's going to be bleeding there's a lot of blood that comes out out of childbirth, and therefore we don't want to put the body down because we don't want there to potentially be people to see that there's blood, etc. But other women we do put down. It's not a din by all women. It's a special din with the woman who died in childbirth. Whereas Rav Lazar, I Mary disagrees. Even other women we do not put down in the street. Again, a practice they will put down in order to increase the aspedim and the crying. They do not do that by woman. As the Apostlech says, But Sham Miriam, but he covered Sham and Miriam died there and was buried there. So from the Semichos, from the connection between Batama, she died to the cover she buried Samach Lemisa Kvura right away to the Misa. They do the Kvura, they don't delay it a moment by putting the body down, even though, of course, Miriam did not die in childbirth. And the Gemara continues about something Rav Lazar said about the death of Miriam Hanavia of Amar Rav Lazar. Af Miriam Benishika Mesa. Miriam was Zeicha to die with incredible death. Of Nishika, kiss from Hashem. How do we know? Asya Sham Shami Maisha. We learn how to Xer Shava the word Sham from Maisha Rabbeinu. Umidina lo nemar ba al pi Hashem. So why doesn't it say if Miriam was Zeicha merited such an incredible death, the death of Nishika, the kiss? Why doesn't it say that about her? Al pi Hashem, that's what she was nifter. Explains the Gemara how sensitive we have to be. Teach it every word. And they should genai a davar laimer. It's a genai. At some level, it's indelicate. It's a genai to say that Miriam and Avio was kissed by God, and therefore the pasuk just alludes to it. Agzira shava sham sham to equate it and connect it to Moshe Rabbeinu, but the pasuk did not want to spell it out <coughs> explicitly. Silly. Amar Ravami, continuing about the death of Miriam, Lama Nismacha, two lines from, three lines from the white lines, Lama Nismacha says, Miriam, Le Parsha's Parah Aduma, why do we put the death of Miriam right next to the Parsha of Parah Aduma, the Red Afro, Lama Lecha to teach you, Ma Parah Aduma Mechaperes, just like the Parah Aduma we know is incredible, Kapara, Af Misasan Shal Tzadikim Mechaperes, that as well gives a Kapara, and similarly, Amar Rav Lazar, Lama Nismacha says, Aaron, on the first white line, the big day Kuna, Una Aaron Akain's death is written in proximity juxtaposition to the Big day kuna to teach you. Ma big day kuna mechaper naf misad shel sadikim mechaperes. We learned extensively in the Gemara and Yuma how each of the begadim is mechaper atones for a different avera. So to the death of sadikim, Rafar should explain because when a sadik dies, people have to have a bit of introspection. If he died, everyone's gonna die. If they do tshuvas, therefore it brings a kapara. Tanu Rabbanan on the second line. Now we're gonna go a little bit into the death of Kares and when. 
how we know when one is nifter that potentially is the death of cars, of course, everything here, as always, is not necessarily absolute. It's different ways of figuring it out. Tanur Abadan explains the Gemara, Mis Pitom Zui Misa Chatufa. If someone dies suddenly, that's a abrupt death. That is an abrupt death. Chalo Yoimechad, if he's sick for one day, Umeis and he's nifter, Zui Misa Stechufa. That's a hasten death. Rav Chamniyani Ben Gamliel, Laimer Zui Misa Magifa. That's a Magifa, that's a plague. Shemar the Apostle says, Ben Adam and Yiloikech, Mimchas, Machamad, Inecha. I'm going to take you, the darling of your eyes, Bim Magifa, and a plague. Ukseba Dabr Laam, Ba Boiker. When he spoke in the morning, Ba Tamas Ishti Ba Erev, and his wife was a nifter in the evening. So what do we see? We see that after one day, that is Misa the Chufa, it's a hastened death. And we continue, Shnei Amim, when someone is sick for two days, Umei Zen is Nifter, Zui Misa's Dechuya, that is a hurry death, Gimel, three days, Ga'ara, that is a death of rebuke, Araba, Nezifa, that is a death of scorn, Chamisha, Zui Misa's Koladim, that is a regular death, that's not a divine retribution, Hashem is not paying back. So immediate death, that's this Karis, and then we have all the other different levels. Amr Avchanan explains, Rav Chanan, Maikara, where do we see in the Pasik, these levels, one, two, three, up to five is a regular death. In Karbu Yamechalamos, the boss says, Behold, your days are coming closer to die. Hain, the word Hain is chad. That means if someone is sick for one day, karvu is tray, yamecha is tray, hacha misha. From there we see the five, five days is the regular death. Hain, chad. How do we know Hain is one? Shkin belash nevani, karan achas Hain. If you knew Greek, it wouldn't be a question in Greek. The word Hain refers to one. And therefore that's what we know that after five days, that's a regular, at some level, death. And it's not a special Punishment of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Meis bechamishim shana of someone is nifter at age fifty. Zui misas karis that is misa of karis. Chamishu shtayim shana. Zui misas shal shmor amasi that's when shmor amasi was nifter. Shishim zui misa b'dei shemayim that is death by heaven. Now what's the rayom or marzutcha micro? Where do we see in the post these different levels? Fifty is karis. Fifty two is shmor amasi. Sixty is misa b'dei shemayim. Tachsev tovai bekelach elai. As the pasuk says, you will grow. You will go to the grave of Bekelech, like Kever. Bekelech, the word of Bekelech is Gematria Shitin Avu, is 60, and that's where we see Misa de Shemayim. Again, we see the power of the Gematria. The word Be is Chaf Lam and Ches, equaling 60, showing us the death at age 60 is the death at the hands of heaven. Shivim, what happens if someone is left at the age of 70? Seva, that is dying at old age. Shemayim, Gvurois, that's dying at strength. The days of your life are 70 years. But if you're strong, it's going to be 80 years. And Amar Rabbah explains Rabba. We just said a moment ago, 50 is Kari's, 52 is Shmuel Aramasi, 60 is Misabide Shamayim, death by heaven. But Rabba really points out, it's really a range. Really, it's 50 to 60, which is Kari's. So why did it say 50 is Kari's, 52 is Shmuel Aramasi? Didn't want to sound as if Shmuel Aramasi was nifter from Kari's. That's the reason why the Brice listed the Shmuel Aramasi age of 52 differently, but really explains really explains Rabbah from 50 to 60 is the death of Karis. Rabbi Yosef Kavi Bar Shitin. When Yosef reached the age of 60, Abelu Yama Tavi made a yant, he made a party. Le Rabban and Amar, Nafikli Mi Karis. He said, I left Karis, Bar Hashem, I made it to 60, he made a party. Maybe this is one of the Makaris for a potential birthday party. We see that at certain ages when one gets there. So reason to celebrate. I've, I was Zeicha to live to a certain age. Amar Le Habay and Hayden, Nafikli Mar Mi Karis, Tishani, Tezavai. Hey, calm down. You're right. You were night. You were yaitz, and you didn't die at the age of a karis. But mikaris the yaitz mean nothing. Mar, but you never left the karis of days. Meaning, as we said before, one could be nifter suddenly, and that's also a karis. Amr So he responded. Rav Yosef responded, "Nak l'chamia pal gabi yad chalisa." I have something. There's a reason to celebrate. At least I got there, and that is Rav Yosef. Again, we see Rav Yosef in Shas often making parties. Kam Yosef ika b'shuka. He's one that was on Shavuos. Here we see Yosef making the Rav Yosef making the party at age sixty. Rav Huna Nach. 
Ravuna was nifter and have Oh, suddenly. Ha, have the kadaigi Rabbana. The Rabbana were nervous. He died pitom. He said suddenly, and we just said a moment ago that someone who died suddenly is a misa of kares. So, so one of the pairs of Rabbana from the place called Medahavav learned, like Shanu Elishli Yigilik Vurais. A sudden death is only terrible in kares if it didn't happen, if it, if it did not reach the age of 80. Gvurais, of Gilik Vura, Zumi, Sasan, Ishika, the opposite. Once you get the Gvura to 80 and then it's a sudden death. That's a Misa of the Shika, that's a Misa of the kiss of God. Amarava explains Rava a little bit more about that. These three items, the length of life, Bane, the amount of children he's going to have, Umezaini and his sustenance, that's not up to his own Zchosim Ella, Bimazala, Talia Milsa. Has to do with his mazel, and that's really the comment that we started with before, as we see, as we see that when it comes to, even though we're giving ages and we're giving ways of determining, but Rav is coming along and Rav is saying there's always an element of mazel in everything, and therefore you don't necessarily know a hundred percent. Explains the Gemara, the Rabba of Rav Chista Tarvayo Rabban and Tzadik Yehavi. Rav and Rav Chista were incredible Tzadikim. And now the Gemara shows us where do we see their Tzadikim? Mar Matzli Vasimitra. One of them was Davin, and rain came right away. Mar Matzli Vasimitra. Other one Davin and rain came right away, and yet. Rav Chista have a tishin v'tart and shnein. Rav Chista lived until ninety-two. Rabbi Chayin Arboyin. Rabbi lived only until forty. Be Rav Chista shit in Iluya. Rav Chista's household had sixty weddings. Be Rabbi shit in Techli sixty deaths. Be Rav Chista samida lekalva. The loy mitboy, the house of Chista fed fine flour even to the dogs. They gave them so much extra money, and they were not nothing else was needed. And be rabba and ami desari leinshi v'loy mishaka. He fed barley to the people. They couldn't have enough. So we're seeing that even though there are ways of figuring out, but the life of a person, his children, and his sustenance, end of the day, even these incredible sadikim and gedolim, rabba and Chista had completely different lives. And we know many gedolim, the Arizal, the Shach. We know if they're at very young ages. Says the Gemara of Amar Rava, continuing, we're about 20 lines of Chesim and Aleph. The first word in line is Bey Rabba. Vamar Rava, honey to last mealy. These three things, I davened in front of Hashem. I got two and not the third. I davened for the wisdom of Ravuna. The wealth of Ravuna. Then I got the wealth and the wisdom. But I davened for Ravuna. I davened for the Anivos. I davened for the humility of Ravuna. And Lo Yavli, that was a given. Perhaps it's apropos, it's perhaps Sanova is one of the things. That is not something one could dive in for. The first to explain over here that uh, that uh, there are kashas over here. We know the famous Gemara, Kol Bidei Shemayim, Chutz Miyiras Shemayim. So what exactly is going on over here? But okay, let's leave it for now. Rav explains the Gemara. Rav Sa'irim, who's the brother of Rav, was sitting in front of Rav, and Chazi, he saw that coming in Hamdain. He saw Rav was dozing off, and that's what it means literally, but it means his Rav is being nifter, Rav is slipping out, Rav is going up to Shemayim, Amr Leilimli Mar, to Lloyd Saira, and so Rav said, Tell me something. Tell the Mar, tell the angel of death. We're gonna have a lot of uh, of the Sar, the angel of death talk over here. So Rava said, "Tell the angel of death, tell him not to hurt me." Amr le Mar, lav shashbina avoy. So he said to Rava, "What do you mean? You're his friend. You're the friend of the angel of death." Amr le kima de imzar mazla lash kabi. Says Rava, "You're right, but once my mazla is given over, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I could do for him to save myself." Amr le lischli Mar. So he responded and he said. This Rav Sa'ir is responding to Rava, and he says, Come back and tell me after you were nifter what exactly happened. Is Chazi lay and Rava, after he was nifter, came back to Rav Sa'ir in a dream, and Amr Lehavali Im Lamar. Tzaira. And Rav Sa'ir said to him, Did you feel pain? Was it a painful death? And Amr Leh, Rava responded, Ki Rivda, the Kusilta. It was like a plunger when someone gives blood, a little prick. That's all it was. And a similar story says the Gemara, Rav Yosef Kamei Dram Nachman. Rav was sitting in front of Rav Nachman, Chazid Kamei Namnim. And he sees Rav Nachman again, is dozing, he's slipping, he's about to be nipped. So Rav Nachman says, Tell the Mar, tell the angel of death something they shouldn't pay me. So Rav says, What do you mean, Rav Nachman? You're not the Chashiv. And again, Rav Nachman responds, Rav Nachman, 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 Rav Nachman,
Rekia. Rav Nachman says, who's important, who's chashiv, who's Rekia, who's awesome and exalted. When it comes to the Sar, when it comes to the Malach there's nothing that can be done. I'm really listening. My. So Rav says, Rav Nachman, come back and tell me how it went after your nifter. It's chazi later. Rav Nachman came back and I'm really. I believe the Mar Tsar was a painful. I'm really. Kemishcha Benisa Mechalva. It was like a drop, like a hair being pulled out of milk. Very not painful at all. The Amr Leah Kishbrach was Zilba Uelma. And Rav Nachman continued an incredible line. If Hashem would say to me, go back, go back to that world, go back and live again. Karavis lo be'ina denavish be'isusa. I wouldn't want to because I'm still so afraid of the Malach HaMavis. So even though he sees it wasn't so painful, still Rav Nachman says there's an incredible fear. That's the way it should be of the Malach HaMavis. And now more stories about the Malach HaMavis. Rav Elazar Avi Ka'achal Truma. Rav Elazar was eating Truma as Chazi and he sees the Malach HaMavis. He's the Malach who's about to kill him. I'm related Truma Ka'achelna. I'm eating Truma. I'm eating Truma. I'm eating Truma. Is it not called Kaidash? Meaning, don't kill me now, because I'm going to make the Kaidash to Chuma Tame. Chafole Shaita, so he waited a moment till he finished eating, and then the Malcham Abbas killed him. Rav Shisha says, Chazli Bashuka, Rav Shisha bumped into the Malcham Abbas in the Shuk, Amr Lei Bashuka Kimahima. Rav Shlaki says, too. The Malacham, or if she should excuse me, said to Malacham of this, are you letting me die like an animal in the middle of the marketplace? Isa Legabe Besa, come into the house, wait till I get back home, and then that is when he was nifter. And similarly, Ravashi is Chazli Bishuka, or about 10 lines. From the end of the Amid, the first one line is Ashi. Rav Ashi is Chazli Beshuka. Rav Ashi bumped into the Malach HaMavas in the Shuk. And we're having a bit of highlighting issues, so we'll just continue. Maybe we'll come back in a moment. Rav Ashi is Chazli Beshuka. Amar Alei. So Rav Ashi said to him, Israch Ali, Talasin Yami, give me 30 more days. Give me 30 more days of life. V'hadji L'Talmud, why? I'm an Achazer Kol Atayra Kula. Rav Shesha is incredible. Rav Ashi is a dire Atayra. He's an Achazer in 30 days to Amritu, you know why? Ashrei, because they say Ashrei Misha Balikan, we're going to have an incredible test at Lachar of Ashrim. So Ravashi says that, let me review my learning, you know why? Because it says Ashrei Misha, praise really is the one Shabbat Balikan that comes here with the Biyadai, and his learnings in his hand, Biyom Tlas and Ravis, on the 30th day, the angel, the Malach HaMavis shows up, Amar Lein, and he says to him, my Kulei Hai, so Ravashi said to him, why are you so nervous? Why are you rushing me talking to the Malach HaMavis? Why the moment I said the 30 are showing up, Kadoch Ke Ragle Devar Nasin. So the Malach HaMavis says, you know why? You know why? Because you Ravashi, you're pushing away Ram Nasin, meaning, it's time for Ram Nasin to be Rosh Hashiva, and therefore, it's your time to be nifter, and that's the reason why I gave you your 30 days to chaz your learning, but now it is time. Rav Chista, Lavi Yachalei, Rav Chista was not able to be approached by the Malach HaMavis, Lavi Shasek, Pumei, Megiris, because he didn't stop learning for a moment, as we see that whenever one is learning, it's impossible for him to be nifter, the Malach HaMavis cannot to touch the Taira. So like Yosef Arza, famous story, so what did the Malach HaMavis do? He went up and he said in a cedar tree, Devei Rav, Devei Rav by the yeshiva and Paka Arza Vishasik and the cedar tree fell and Rav Chisar for one moment got startled and then then Viachale the Malach Mav is able to take him Rav Chia Vlavi Matzal Mikravale and similarly three lines at the bottom Rav Chia was not able to be approached by the Malach Mav as Yomachad one day in Melech Kanya Malach Mav has appeared to him like a pauper Asa Tarif Abav and he came and he knocked on the door of Rav Chia and Amar Le he said to him Avikli Rifta give me some bread Apiku Le and the people in Rav Chia's household brought him some bread. Do you not have Rachmanas on the floor? On this person, why does he not have Rachmanas? Meaning, why isn't he coming himself? You're just giving me door, bread at the door. Why isn't Rav Chia himself coming to greet the Ani? So what happened? Gali legs, we revealed to him. He revealed... Malach HaMavis showed himself to Rav Chia that he was a rod of fire. Am Silei And Rav Chia gave over his life. There was no more, nothing more that he could do. And for a moment, we're going to turn over to Chav Chesim and Beis. As we said, we're going to stop a little bit early as tomorrow's daf is very short and these daf are very long. But let's at least begin the Mishnah. Says the Mishnah on Chav Chesim Nashim Be'emoyin Ma'adois. Now we're going to go into the Velos and the different practices they would do at the funerals themselves. A woman on Cholamayin would chant a Ma'anois. 
Avaloi mitav chayz. They wouldn't clap. Different practices they used to do at the levaya or yishmal amar asmuchas lamitam and the dav chayz. Ones that were closest to the mitzvah, to the aron, to the kavet, to the maze would clap. Rosh chadash b'chanik aporim. They're allowed to do these ma'anois, these type of uh, eulogies, and they were allowed to clap. But on both of them, Chalamayin and Rosh Chanukah Gamborim, they were not doing ma'anois, the type of kina, the back and forth way of eulogizing. Nikvar ames, v'loi ma'anois, v'loi mitavchos. Once the dead has been buried, then it's over. You're not allowed to do anything. You're not allowed to clap. You're not allowed to do anything else. And now the Gemara explains, the Mishnah explains, excuse me, what is inui? that everyone chants, everyone says it together. Kino, what is Kino? That one of them speaks, and everyone responds afterwards. Shnemar, as the Apostle says, Teacher, your daughter is mourning, and each woman, a Kino lamentation. Aval, the Mishnah concludes, always in a high note, as the Mishnah will as well. La Sid Lava, you Oimer, what does it say, La Sid Lava? Be La Amaves, La Netzach. He'll eliminate death forever. Umach Hashem Elokeim and Hashem will wipe away demo me alcohol upon him, wipe away tears from all the face of the earth. We're going to stop over here. So then tomorrow's daf we'll do this half of the Ahmed, and then we'll conclude with daf chavtes the entire mesechta baruch Hashem as we'll forge and forth into the final mesechta. Who would believe we're almost there, closing on the entire seder ma'id? Absolutely incredible. We'll pick up from here in the next year. B'siyata tishmayo.